Hey everybody, Captain Beanard back here with another Wi-Fi battle. Exciting day today because, as promised, I do have a new team for you guys. Two of these Pokemon are throwbacks, those of course being the Heatran and the Donphan from ORAS, but the rest of the team is brand new. These are just Pokemon that I felt like using, and as always with the team, I feel that I put together a very interesting combination here, and I am very much looking forward to using it in battle. So, having said all of that, our first match with the team today is going to be against Fur, just a random person from the online Festival Plaza. And as you can see, he has a very cool team there himself, so it should definitely be a good match, and we're going to get into it. So, looking at the team preview, I really wasn't sure what he was going to lead with. He doesn't really have an obvious lead to me. So, he actually ends up leading with the Star Raptor, as I decided to lead with my Heatran Captain Magma. So, he is going to get the Intimidate right away to lower my attack. Not really going to matter since I am a special attacker. And so he is going to go for the U-turn right out of the gate to get a little bit of chip damage and scout me. Uh, he is going to get the mandatory switch, and he is going to come in with Arcanine off of that. And he is going to get, actually get the Intimidate again to lower my attack even further. So I actually decided to go for the Magma Storm here, uh, knowing it would do decent damage to anything he left in. It is going to take him down by about a third, but more importantly, it is going to trap him in uh, and prevent him from switching out next turn, which is very key, um, as I'm going to regain my health with the leftovers, and he is going to take some damage from the Magma Storm, leaving him at about half. So he is going to outspeed me here. Uh, since he can't switch, he has no choice but to go for the attacking move. He goes for the wild charge. I'm guessing that was his best move. Not going to do a whole lot of damage to me. Probably a defensive set. He is going to take recoil, and then I am just going to go for the earth power, which is going to be more than enough to finish that thing off, dropping him down to five Pokemon. And I am going to regain more health with the leftovers. So then he is going to come in with Greninja. And that is going to force me to switch. I don't want to take a water attack from this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Poliwrath, which is my Wrath, of course. He is going to go for the Scald. Uh, not going to do anything to me because of my Water Absorb, but the Protein does change him to a Mono Water type. So that is good information there. Um, so he is going to go for the switch here, probably doesn't have any good moves to hit me with, so he's going to come back in with the Star Raptor and get the Intimidate to lower my attack. I did just go for the Waterfall here um, to get damage on whatever he left in. That does take him down by a little less than half, which was not too bad. So this turn I am going to switch out. I do want to conserve Polyrath since it does look useful uh, for the rest of his team. I kind of have to sack something to this Star Raptor since I don't really have a definitely clean switch in. So I'm going to come in with my um, Yanmega Sparks, uh, who unfortunately is going to take a Brave Bird from this thing, which is going to one-shot kill me and drop me down to five Pokemon. So, then I am going to come in with my Don fan, Donnie, and uh, he is actually going to take this turn to go for the Roost, um, which was a little bit unexpected, but that is going to put him back up to about three quarters health, as I just took this opportunity to go for the Stealth Rock uh, to get that entry hazard set up on him, actually predicting a switch. So, this turn he is going to go for the U-turn just to get some chip damage on me, and of course the mandatory switch. He is going to take some damage from the Rocky Helmet. But off the mandatory switch, he is going to come in with Charizard, who of course is going to lose half health from the Stealth Rock, which is great news for me. I did just go for the knockoff, uh, just in case he decided to switch. That is going to leave him in the red. Um, but this turn, he is going to go for the Mega Evolution into Mega Charizard Y. And the Drought is going to activate to turn the Sunlight Harsh. But... It's not really going to matter because I am just going to go for the Ice Shard here, and that is going to be enough to finish off the Charizard, dropping him down to four Pokemon. So then he's going to come back in with Star Raptor and take some damage from the rocks and get the Intimidate to lower my attack. I'm guessing he was hoping uh, to survive an Ice Shard after the Intimidate, but I am just going to go for that, uh, hoping to take him out, and it is going to be enough damage to finish off the Star Raptor, fortunately, and drop him down to three Pokemon. So then he is going to come back in with Greninja and take some damage from the rocks. And 
that is going to force me to switch. I don't want to take a water attack from this thing. So I'm going to go back into my Polyrath, uh, predicting that as he actually makes a good play and goes for the extra sensory instead. Uh, the protein is going to change him to a mono psychic type. Um, so I actually am going to survive that in the red with three health, which was pretty epic. Um, I'm going to get the Citrus Berry to regain some health, but unfortunately it's not really going to matter since he is going to outspeed me, go for the extra sensory again, and that's going to be more than enough to finish off my Polyrath, dropping me down to four Pokemon. So then I'm going to go ahead and come in with my Blissey, Yo Mama, and uh, he is going to go for the extra sensory once again here just to get some damage on me, but I am actually max special defense on this Blissey, so I'm going to take that very well. I'm going to hit him up with an Ice Beam, dropping him down to about a third health, and I'm going to take some damage from the Life Orb since I am an offensive set. So he is just going to stay in here and go for another extra sensory to get more chip damage on me. Probably doesn't want to risk a switch. I just went for the Flamethrower in case he decided to switch. So that is going to be enough to finish off the Greninja and drop him down to two Pokemon as I am going to take more damage from the Life Orb. So then he is going to come in with Jolteon and take some damage from the rocks. And he is going to go for a Volt Switch here uh, to try and get more chip damage on me. Um, so not going to do a whole lot there, but he is going to get the Mandatory Switch, and he is going to come in with the Flygon and take a little bit of damage from the rocks as I just decided to go for the Soft Boiled um, to go ahead and regain most of my health with that. So that is going to put me back up to almost full, which is good news for me, of course. And uh, this turn... He actually goes for the Dragon Dance. I'm really not sure why, since I did reveal I had Ice Beam earlier, but um, he is going to get that plus one attack and speed, but I am just going to go for that Ice Beam again. I'm guessing maybe he was predicting me to over-predict, possibly, and uh, go for something else, but I did just go for the Ice Beam straight away, which is going to one-shot kill the Flygon, dropping him down to just one Pokemon. So finally, he is going to come back in with Jolteon and take some more damage from the Rocks. And he is just going to go for a Thunderbolt. I'm guessing it is his best move for me, but um, I am way too specially defensive for that. That is going to leave me with a little above half health. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower, and I actually get a crit here, which probably did matter in taking this thing out, but um, didn't matter in the long run since I could take special attack for days. So that is going to finish off the Jolteon, and that is game. So I did win that one 4-0 against Fur, but that was a pretty good match there. Thanks for watching again, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy, and stay tuned for more new battles in the future. So that's it, and we'll see you next time.